What's good? This is Osiris the PC Pimp, and uh, I'm gonna start a video series on overclocking in Linux. Uh, I'm specifically gonna be using Ubuntu if you wanna follow along. Uh, but the, many of these uh, pieces of software and techniques should work across uh, just about any of the Linux distributions that are out there. Uh, to start off, we're gonna go through, in each video, we're gonna go through the different pieces of software that I use for overclocking, and then uh, the videos will then progress into how to overclock your CPU and your GPU in uh, Linux. So let's start with uh, INEX, which I think is a pretty useful piece of, piece of software. Um, so if you look at this and you're a Windows user, you're gonna uh, uh, automatically associate this with CPU-Z and GPU-Z, mostly CPU-Z, but it has uh, a lot more information than just CPU information in it. Uh, so if you take a look at it, you can automatically tell just like CPU-Z, you have your uh, the, the icon or the picture of the particular CPU that you're using. As you can see, I have a Core i5. Up here, it tells you it's a 3570K. The frequency that it's set at in the BIOS is 4.2 gigahertz, and this is the onboard uh, integrated graphics that it has, HD 4000. Uh, down here, it'll tell you the temp, which is uh, pretty useful. Yes, mine's high right now, but I'm also, my computer's under a pretty heavy load, as you can see down here. It is doing a lot of things. Uh, the critical temperature is 105 degrees, and if it gets that high, you're already pretty, you're done. Yeah, you're toast. <laughs> so anyways, I... Hopefully you never see critical temperatures. That'd be ridiculous. If you hit 90 degrees, you already know that you have a problem. But moving along, it has a bunch of useful information. Some useful, you know, some useless, uh, like uh, the cache. Uh, you don't need to know all that stuff. Just a lot of information. And then if you click down here, there's a CPU ID tab, which gives you even more information. You have all the information about your, uh, your particular CPU that you're using. So moving on to the GPU tab, uh, this tells you the uh, GPU information that you have. It tells you which GPU vendor that you're using. I have an NVIDIA. It tells you exactly which uh, GPU that you have, and I have a 780. Uh, the version uh, of the driver that you're using, I'm using 349.16, which is the latest version, and a lot more information, right? But uh, we're not going to use this uh, for overclocking purposes uh, in the information. This is just useful if you want a quick glance of something. Uh, we'll get into what we use for overclocking the GPU in a later video. So if we can go on to the motherboard information, this will give you the motherboard information. As you can see, I'm using an ASRock Z77 Extreme 4, American Megatrends BIOS, and so on and so on. This uh, this is also useful if you just need quick information, not just for overclocking. If you need the quick information, you need to give somebody some information who's helping you out. Uh, this would be an easy way to bring it up because it even shows you your BIOS version and all that stuff. Audio, I think the audio tab is pretty useless because it just has a wall of fucking text. And we don't need a wall of text because, uh, yeah. Then you got the driver information. We don't need that for overclocking. You have the system information. This is good if you're troubleshooting or you need somebody to help you. You can quickly look at this at a glance and tell, you, tell them exactly what they're, uh, you're using. Uh, as you can see, uh, my vendor, my distribution vendor is Ubuntu. I'm using 14.10. My desktop environment is Unity 7.3.1. Compu's Windows Manager. Uh, the themes in here, you got the GTK versions of the themes right here. Uh, which icons are you using? fonts that you're using on your desktop and your xorg version which could be pretty useful when you're uh troubleshooting some graphical problems uh believe me i've been there so you got your xorg versions and your gc ver gcc versions c library uh net tools dynamic linkers blah 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 and uh you could tell that i'm on a 64-bit uh install so and if you click library, it brings up even more versions of libraries. So there's that. Uh, pretty useful. And so we'll move on to the next tab, which would be kernel, which is also a useful piece of information in case you're troubleshooting. Uh, you're having some issues. Uh, it tells you exactly what type of architecture you're on. I'm on 64-bit. I'm on, uh, My system name, I guess, is Linux. Uh, the node name is Linux Desktop. Which release version of the kernel month? I'm on 316.0-34 generic. Um, some more information. 
and then it tells you which versions of the kernels I have installed on my system, uh, which reminds me, I need to go back and clean some of these out because uh, it does keep the, the old kernels in there every time it updates. So it, it'll be to your benefit to clean that up every so often, but that's outside the scope of this video. So let's move along. Uh, next would be memory. So it tells you how much memory you have on your system. You have RAM, uh, how much is being used, how much swap is being used. I'm using zero swap right now. I'm using 54% of my RAM. Like I said, my system is pretty loaded down right now. It's doing things, stuffing things. Uh, so yeah, this is a, a quick, easy way to check your RAM usage and what's going on with your RAM. Uh, network, no useful information as far as I'm concerned. USB, I don't really care about. I don't know why it's here. Uh, I guess in case you need the, the USB information. Yeah. It tells you exactly what's plugged into every part of every port on my USB. So I guess that could be useful for somebody. But for the point of overclocking, it's pretty useless. So anyways, that was a quick overview of iNex. Let's get into real quick on how to install this piece of software called iNex. And we'll bring up the website somewhere. If I can find it, of course. All right, so I found it. Let's bring this right on over here. All right, so uh, the website is i-next.linux.pl. Uh, let me go to the home page. So this is what it's going to look like when uh, you bring it up. So it looks like this. It's in some funky language that I can't read. That doesn't matter because you can read the important stuff. Right here at the top, it says install. Click the button install. Find your distribution. They have Arch, Manjaro, Linux, Mint, Ubuntu, Fedora, OpenSUSE, and for you awesome people out there, there's source code for you to compile. Bam. But uh, we're using Ubuntu, and they have two installs for Ubuntu. They have Ubuntu Daily uh, builds and the stable builds. Uh, I recommend that you use the stable builds. So to do that, just follow the instructions. Uh, so down here, stable PPA. You're going to do sudo add app repository, then the PPA name. That will put the PPA on your system or the repository uh, where the software is stored. Then you're going to update your system. Sudo app get update so that you can, um, so that your system updates these this repository information. Then you're going to do sudo app get install inex to install inex. And it's really that simple. Just copy and paste those into your terminal. Uh, trust me, they're safe. But whatever. Uh, copy paste that stuff to your terminal uh, once it's installed you'll be presented with a pretty similar window as to what I have here uh, so that's that's about it for iNex I think it's a very useful uh, application with lots tons of information probably more information that you'll ever even need to use but um, next video we'll probably get into P sensor which is a, a great awesome piece of software specific more specifically for uh, hardware monitoring and, and 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 logging and we'll get into that next time so if you like what you see here hit that subscribe button if you don't like what you see here hit that thumbs down button because you're a hater and if you do like what you see here again hit the like after you hit the subscribe and if you already subscribed you're an awesome f person so uh until next time this is osiris the pc pimp and i'm out